everybody, you're now experiencing the Gretna Bill Show. Hi, I'm Tim. I'm Taylor. I'm Zach. We're Welcome at Sly, Sly Fox, Fox Tab House. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Gretna Bill Show. show. Yeah! <laughs> Side view, want the loop line, man. All right. And my Christmas wool socks. Yeah. Yes. Hi, right, everybody. Welcome to the Gretna Bill Show. So we're here in Why Missing PA, and we're with uh, Jeff, Dakota, Shane, and, and I'm Todd Holsop. <laughs> yeah, Aldoni, not really. I'm uh, Greg Hostetter. So we're here at the Sly Fox Tap House, and uh, we had a, a big nice ride today we went from here down to Pottstown 20 miles away and we visited the other Sly Fox installation which is called the Sly Fox Brewery and then uh, we had a beverage there and then we returned and we're back here in Y missing again for a 40 mile ride it was great Jeff organized it all and um, so first of all you organize this ride and we want to benefit one organization today by the proceeds. So YO Ways will get the proceeds. Um, what that is, is they're building a medical school here on the site of the old VF outlet. Um, and that is going to allow the college kids a safe transportation route um, to like places to eat, to school, and their housing. Yeah, great cause. Yeah. So, um, I want to back everybody up a bit. So about a, over a year ago, right? When was that like? Uh, last October, November, something. Last year, yeah. Jeff came to me. We all went out for a ride. Yeah, almost and, just a year ago. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, it was. And about exactly. And he had this idea that he wanted to start a racing team, Keystone Racing. And uh, he said, "Hey, can you be one of the sponsors?" And again, stand up a minute. Like, get up off the ground. Yeah, powered by Lupine Lighting Systems. I said, you know what, sure. Let's see what we got going here. Watch yourself when you sit down there, Dakota. Back to the ground. So, you know, they came to me and they had they had a lot of talent, man. Um, so, first of all, they came into the situation with, what, two or three PA bar winners. Now, a PA bar winner means it's the best all-around rider. And it's pacycling.org and these guys raced the whole season and in years prior and they won the elite yeah so so, so first of all you came to me with how many past bar winners or present my myself i wanted the year before and the year that you and i met alec was the current alec Retzel. winner of the pa bar and you also won the u23 two years in a row yeah and i've won the u23 bar he's won it and then we've also been involved so you guys had loads of talent yeah and it was just four of us right and uh the other two members it was it was sean guidish. Sean guidish and he just graduated from being a junior and then we also have Derek Butler, who I raced with before. Yeah. And he he came pretty high in the bar. So you yeah. guys won the small team. That's a huge accomplishment. I mean, that means hammering it out every yeah, it, weekend. Yeah, it's, it's small team, but it's it's weird because all the like big teams that we race, you know, that have a lot of guys in the races, like they're still within that same bracket. So it's more of just the team bar. And tell us honestly. a little bit about the uh, your concept and the vision you guys had for this team. Yeah, in I the think beginning really you were laying it on me and I said, you know what, yeah. I really support that. It's, it's a cool Yeah, idea. we we didn't want a lot of guys and you know oversaturate the racing scene around here. Um, we wanted to be a really tight knit group and uh, kind of back off from like the high pressure, you know, go to these bigger races and really perform. We just wanted to do our thing, do our racing. There was no stipulation like, oh, you've got to go to this race, you got to go to this race, because we're all basically in college and 
have lives outside of it, but we just love racing. So we just started it and we wanted to just race and have fun and do it with our friends, you know. Everybody on the team we knew before uh, we started the team, so we were we were all friends already and we just kind of made the team and invited them all and I think it worked pretty well because we all had a ton of fun yeah. and and you won the bar yeah, yeah. Like, think, let me repeat that you yeah. won the bar man. I think where the, a lot of the success came from was most if not all the guys on the elite team started out as a junior so when you're a junior um, you have a coach, you have a team director that's with you every week at every race. And you learn how to race as a team, not as an individual. And that's where these guys cool. excelled. They raced as a team, they communicated throughout the, the race from beginning to end, and they would set one another up time and time again. It was just a thing of beauty. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. We had a lot of wins, and I mean, we don't really have to talk before the race, have a huge meeting. We just kind of know each other, each know other. each other really well. So, what's what's the resume like this year? How many wins did you have outside of winning the bar and the small team classification, the elite men? But well, yeah. I think I don't know the exact number, but I think Sean Guidish won like six or seven races, probably. Yeah, I won the Pottstown crit. Alec Ratzel won two races, right? I think so. Emmerich and another one. Yeah, and then he just won one really late in the season, and they won Emmerich Boulevard. And what'd you do? Lap the field in Pottstown after you yeah, already? Yeah. And yeah. then you beat him in the sprint too. Yeah, I you got, must have been on fire that day. Huh? It was super hot. It was a technical course, and I got in the breakaway with um, like five or six other guys. Yeah. And then we lapped the field, and then. Um, it came down to the sprint. It was like a downhill right hand turn into a downhill sprint, and uh, all the guys that were in the break were like on the front marking each other because we only have to beat each other. We don't have to beat the field. Right. So Alec, you know, like right before the final turn, he surged me up to the last turn. So I went into the last turn, second <laughs> wheel, and then he just started the sprint, and I just came around and yeah, won the field sprint. And beat the, field. the German. So. Um such great success you knew you were going to have some casualties defecting to bigger programs perhaps and that happened with sean guidish I yes mean, the kid was just killing it um so yep. now he's gone to kelly benefit yep yeah which is like a yep. mabra and, dc team right exactly so who do you got to fill that gap as we continue on in the next year's season well like i said we we only want guys that we already know we don't want to you know we don't want to bring guys on just because they have a good resume because, you know, they might be jerks or not fit well with us. Um, so we actually had one of Alec and Derek's friends stay with us at Green Mountain. He needed a place to stay and we had room, so we let him uh, board with us. And he's a cat too, um, and his name's Nate Ricketts. And uh, we asked him if he wanted to join with us next year because, you know, he, he just was on a club team and, I don't know, he, I think he said he wanted to race more next year on the road. So. Solid rider. So you're going after the bar again? Yeah. Salty, that'll be quite yeah. neat yeah. to win it double yeah. back to back. Yeah, so yeah. next and year. We have another rider coming on, his name is Matt Waller. Um, I knew him a few years ago. He hasn't raced in a few years, but he approached us and was like, hey, I want to start racing again. And he's really good friends with um, Alec Brassel on the team and his older brother Greg, who's a good friend of mine. So. Yeah, we got do, we got two guys. Do you there. get any? Uh, so, how's that young medalist program going? I mean, do you expect to get any talent out of there? I know you you've been in the past closely associated with them, more or less. Well, that's where we got Sean Guidish. Right. Okay. Yeah, we got Sean from there, but we're not picking anyone up there uh, for next year. But they do have some really good kids yeah. that are graduating. So, Jeff, uh, one of the reasons why we're here at Sly Fox is because you're getting your sponsors ready to go into next year for another stellar year with Keystone Racing. That's correct. So how does Sly Fox fit into that um, formula? Well, this is a great community. You, um, they're opening their doors to us so we can have sponsor meetings in there. We can bring people from the community in, sit down, get to know them, have our meetings in there, our team meetings in there. Great food and beer, and as you can see. Fairly. Check that out. That's baller right there. Yeah, this I love the wide mouths. You know, I'm gonna take you guys back to the '90s because I always do it eventually at some point in the episode. But this reminds me of Mickey's wide mouth. Mickey's Mickey's mall wide mouth. Yeah, man. the Mickey's wide mouth. Well, anyway, um, 
Yeah, so we're on for next year. We're going to help you out sponsoring. I'm looking forward Thank to another you. great year. I'm also really appreciative of you guys helping me out in the tour to Gretna this year. That was a big success. We're hoping to make it a three stage, two day, two -day race yeah. with the state championship time trial for Masters and the road race, of course. And uh, so we're hoping that uh, you know you guys will be a big part of that again. Absolutely, we'll be there. Jeff, you were uh, just wonderful last year, man. You anchored down in front of the pizza shop, dude. That was huge. On site, Marshall. On we'll site, there. And, uh, Marshall. Bill, we should we should point out that all these riders do go to the Pennsylvania State University. Yes. Yes. Every single rider for 2020 the Pennsylvania State goes University. to Penn State. We My are a full-time student. And tonight's a big game. It's yes, a whiteout. Yeah, white Penn State College, Michigan. We have, we have three, Penn State, Michigan. three PhD students. Yeah, and three of whoa, them have their PhD. Let me, let me get my arms around that. Okay. Three Dr. Phil, talk to us. Yeah, yeah, Greg. What, I know you've been talking. I heard PhD no, earlier, and I thought, oh, it's not in my league. But what is the PhD deal? I think they're all three going for engineering. Whoa. With different types. Wow, that means yeah. that they're actually hitting the books instead yeah. of the dartboard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I used to. I, Nate, Nate might not be in engineering, but I, I, I'm pretty guaranteed he's a PhD. But Derek and Matt are both. Matt's 27, I think, and Derek's 25. Brains and bronze. Yes. yes. Is that Michelle over there? Yes. Come on, can you step in here? Uh, dude, we were talking earlier about this organization. It's going to benefit. Can I squeeze a cheek between the two of you? There you, you can go. squeeze Good. two cheeks if you desire to. <laughs> So that the organization again is because uh, I was uh, stuttering a bit. Way, go ahead. I work for the Borough of Wyoming. Missing. So when I came to Sly Fox to talk about fundraising for our bike and pedestrian trail, John Giannopoulos's answer to me was, "I can't write you a check, but I can throw you a party." So partnering with Keystone Racing for the down and back ride today, and then in three weeks in the very spot that we're sitting, we're going to be having a giant fundraising party that's open to the public, um, bands, family friendly, obviously beer, but all the money raised that day and from today's event goes to Wyoways, which is what Sly Fox generously branded our bike and ped route. So this was all for so many years the outlet destination, right? What do they call this Sorry, place? Man. It's now called the Knitting Mill, so you actually need, need to good. flash you're back good, about a hundred years. Oh my. It was the Berkshire Knitting Mills. So originally this was um, textile and hosiery production. And then in roughly the 70s, the VF outlets came. Vanity Fair. Yep, yes. Vanity Fair came to fruition. Um, they say during the heyday of the outlets in the late 70s and early 80s, traffic would back up, you know, for a half a mile to a mile around this place. People were bust in from New York, New Jersey, Delaware, yeah. Maryland. It was insane. Tourista. And then, yeah, and then as we all know, you know, things like the Tanger outlets opened up, the Limerick outlets, it kind of became a dime a dozen. And the site really fell into, I don't want to say poor condition because Vanity Fair did a great job of maintaining, you know, what the aesthetics of the property look like, but there was not a lot of activity going on in terms of actual retail sales. So Equus Capital Partners came in, purchased the site in 2016, redeveloped what you see now by pulling UGI in as the main anchor, Tower Health Systems, um, the two upper floors of the building across the street from us, the designer building, which is actually in West Reading. Um, that is their corporate offices. And then obviously Sly Fox is here. This building, which is known as the 114 building, they're holding out to try and get either a grocer or some type of food hall cafeteria in here. And then the VF North lot, which is on the north side of the railroad tracks, is where Teleflex just opened and the Drexel University College of Medicine will be opening in 2021. That is awesome. So Drexel's in on this yep. as well. Okay. Dude, you raised a, a pretty good amount of money today, right? Um, I actually don't know what our final figure is. What was the figure yesterday? I know there was a lot of a day ofs. Today. As of, if we actually had, I think, let's just say 80 riders total at 60 would be $4,800. So, I mean, I know Randy and Sly Fox have some costs they need to offset, but after that, I would be hopeful we have somewhere between two and $3,000 we raised, which is awesome. Awesome job to you guys. The ride was just super fun and fast on the way back. <laughs> Holy crap. Dude, I thought I was gonna get dropped for sure. And then uh, 
Jeff, Dakota, Schaefer, I mean, um, looking for the best from you guys again next year for Keystone Racing. And, uh, yeah, you guys are it's a great program. Greg, you know, I Thanks, know Bill. you've been following this from the very beginning. Yep. Uh, what do you got for us, man? Well, I'd like to show you. Here's a great wind photo of uh, Dakota right here. He doesn't know that I'm showing you this right now. But <laughs> I do which count. race was that? Pottstown. Yeah, Pottstown, Pottstown crit. Crit. Yep. Yeah, and we, we it was were like 100 degrees. <laughs> and I think really we really bought into and really liked the whole philosophy of the team. I think that's that was yeah, something the really important to I us. Yeah, from the Penn State. First of all, I'm a Penn yeah. State alum, so that yeah. attracted me. And then I go, how many bar winner? You guys are winning. You're crushing mm -hmm. everybody. And then they. They followed through this year and won the old PA bar yeah. as a as a small team. Dakota got second in the elite today, this year. And second I in the elite. Sean got third. Sean got third. Who won the bar this year in the elite was men? It Calvin. Calvin Hoops. Oh, Calvin Hoops, of course. Yeah. He's everywhere. Dakota had been on some really big teams. So tell us a little. So you started out when you were. So I, I, I said 15, so 16, so they made and you went out to Air and Gas in California. <laughs> and you but, rebelled? Is that, yeah, but is tell that us a little bit more like when you were in high school and you started out. Um, so yeah, when I was in high school, I started out racing when I was 15. Before that, I raced BMX when I was younger, and then I played some school sports um, and stopped doing that. But yeah, I started training and racing when I was 15 um, on the Young Medalist program out of Drexler Town, PA, where the velodrome is. And then my last two years of high school, I went and did online school so I could travel. Um, and then my senior year of high school, I got on a professional team called Air Gas Pro Cycling. And it's now Illuminate the Bike, I think it's called, the all black pro kit. And they, uh, I think they only race overseas at this point. I don't okay. think they do much in America. So they're time. like a, a continental or a pro continental team. Which yeah, I honestly we don't. learned all about that when we were with so Ryan. You were, yeah, I'm not sure what they are anymore. So you were but basically what 18 and moved out to California, right? Yeah, I lived San out in Francisco. California. I didn't the know team, that. Yeah, the team had That's my a best uh, Johnny cars. <laughs> <laughs> I did not, not know that. that. My uh, yeah, the, the the team I was on had an apartment there, so the guys that were able to to stay there stayed there. So that's why I did school online then, so I could do that. Right. And then, yeah, raced a bunch there, you know. Awesome. Yeah. Went, went to an elite team called Kelly Benefits. and Oh, so you've been there too. There. So, yeah. Th those guys are so pervasive, you know, yeah. in, in mid-Atlantic for sure. Yeah, and at the time, I mean, we had I mean, I even raced against team. all those guys, you know. Oh, yeah. they, they got masters all the way up through the 70s. Dude, it's been a great day. I just, the weather really wet in our favor and uh, we're drinking good Sly Fox beer mm -hmm. and um, dude glad that we got to talk to everybody about what Absolutely. we did today you know cycling it's the best it's the ultimate it's so you know, I know all you guys together. are thinking about stuff it's like how the day went so uh, this is where we're gonna wrap it up but I mean anybody got any words of wisdom to lay on us for the podcast right happy yeah all right to the next Gretna Bill show Cheers, Juice. Yeah. Cheers. Greg, thanks a lot for coming yep. out. Thanks, Greg. Thanks, Bill. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, Michelle, thank you. Hi. Welcome to. Hi. Do it again. Do it again. One, two, three. Hi. Hi. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Sly Fox, Fox Tap House. house. Oh. Tap House. Hey, we're here at Sly Fox <laughs> Brew House. house. Okay. Tap House. Hi. 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 We're Welcome at Sly Fox. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me, dog. Let me stop.